Hey, how's it going? Long time no see. Got my new Dunder Mifflin shirt on, got my notes here. It's another episode of Kickstarter Corner. Let's get into it. How you been? I know it's been a while since you see me on here. Uh, I had the sickness for a little bit. Getting better though, just super tired. Like that's the worst part about this thing. But I've got a list of Kickstarters here that I'd love to talk to you about. Starting right off the bat with one you know that that I've been a fan of ever since the first issue came out, and that is Pocus Hocus Chapter Three. I believe the campaign dropped. Uh, as of this filming yesterday, or the day before, one of the two. But anyway, Pocus Hocus follows a magician named Pocus Hocus who sells his soul to a demon for actual magical powers. And after a while of having these powers, he kind of becomes disenfranchised with it, kind of jaded, just wants to go back to normal life. Uh... The problem is, he can only get the contract he made with the demon broken by divine intervention, or if he guesses the demon's name. Neither one of those has happened yet, so... Uh, in the second issue, we find out that the demon needs Pokes' help because he's lost a bunch of souls in a card game. So he, he needs Pokes' help, and since Pokes is still kind of in this contract with him, Pokes kind of begrudgingly agrees to go through with it. Uh, the end of that, I'm not going to spoil anything for it. The end of that one, though, is kind of a big build-up to this uh, this issue, and I can't wait for it. it it's been an amazing ride so far. Uh, this book is so funny. Uh, if you're on the fence about getting it, I, I'm telling you, out of everything on the list that I'm about to talk to you about, if I could pick one for you to back, it'd be Pocus Hocus. Uh, <clears throat> this was written by Alan Dunford and Will Radford. Uh, colors by Jason Smith. Art by by Brian Bolando. Uh, lettered by Dave Lentz. And some covers are done by uh, Kit Wallace, I believe Stephanie Mooney. Uh, I think Brian's done a, co a cover or two for them. So a bunch of cool covers come with this book. And uh, this one will be ending on February 24th, so don't miss out on this great book. Make sure you go check out the campaign, which I'll probably say it 80 million times during this video. All of the links will be down in the description. So, now on to the next one. That's a that's a Bad Bug, bug book, and the reason I, I, I want to talk about Bad Bug is because the next book on my list is also a Bad Bug book. This is a company that Sean and I and Jenna believe in 2022 they're really going to take off. Uh, this next one by them is called Bearskin. Now, <clears throat> when I when I first heard about this book and I, I checked out the uh, the Kickstarter, there you know sometimes they have those uh, preview Kickstarter pages. It's not live yet. Uh, I saw it, got to read a couple panels, and as soon as I finished the, the the few panels I got to read, which which are on the Kickstarter page, so go read them. I was like, I have to get this book. Uh, this is the craziest premise I've ever heard, and it just sounds awesome. So, <clears throat> here's here's how here's how this one goes: a delusional man in a bear suit is killing the town is killing the town folk, believing they are monsters in disguise. But when real monsters start to show up, the people of Grantsville, West Virginia, have no choice but to turn to the murderous madman for protection. So this crazy guy is killing folks thinking that they're monsters and then real monsters show up and the town folk are like, who better to protect us from monsters than the crazy guy that's been killing us, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this one was uh, created and written by Jason Pell, art by Jock, edited by John McLeod, and produced by Mike Tiener, who's the big wig at Bad Bug. Now, the interesting thing about these two books is they have kind of this promotion going on, and it shows on both the Kickstarter pages. 
that if you back Pocus and you back Bearskin, you get a free copy of Mike Tiener and Dave Lentz's book, Ragnarok, which looks totally awesome. It's about a rock a rock band in Asgard that they suck and they get kicked out of Asgard. Like, plus it's Mike Tiener and Dave Lentz writing this. This is it's gonna be awesome. So uh, be on the lookout for those two. That one ends uh, February 9th. Like I said, that just sounds crazy to me, and the concept is so cool, I, I had to get on it. All right, and the next one I got was a campaign from a Facebook friend that I missed out on last time, and I, I told him, I said, um, I kind of went to my limit, because I try to limit my, my Kickstarter stuff per month, you know, I... There's so many great Kickstarters, and unfortunately, I can't back them all. Uh, so I told him, I said, you know what, the, the next one, I'm, I'm really going to try to get on. And I ended up getting the digital version. But this was uh, 2100 AD, issues 1 through 4. Uh, this is from Intelligent Comics. They have a website, I believe it's intelligentcomics.com. It's either .com or .net. I can't remember, and I should have written that down, but I didn't. Sorry. I'll try to leave a link to that. Or I have Sean leave a link to that in the description. Uh, but it's from Intelligent Comics, and the synopsis for this is, In the year 2100 AD, the Pentagon's Aeon Arthur has gone rogue. Humans are hunted by autonomous vehicles and drone strikes. Uh, mankind's greatest hope, a small group of engineers, programmers, retired army uh, forces, and ex-government employees. Together, they represent humanity's last stand in a war against a superior consciousness. Uh, I actually got to read um, a PDF of this, and it's really good. Like, I had no doubt it was going to be good, but it's really good. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I kind of reached my limit with Kickstarters with the other ones that I had gotten. So I got the digital one, and... Super excited to get this in, though. Uh, that Kickstarter, it ends February 17th. And uh, the creative team behind it, uh, it was written by Sean P. Terry, lettered by Dave Sharp, penciled by Gary Gastony. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Jorge Cortez, colored issue one, and... Again, I hope hope I pronounced this right. Slame Mugiono. Probably butchered that, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, they colored um, issues two through four. Like I said, again, that one ends on February 17th. Looks really good. Go check it out. And the last one I got on my list uh, is from another Facebook friend. Uh, this one is called Granite State Punk. Uh, the synopsis for this, I took a couple notes from it. Uh, a rare gray look at witches, New Hampshire, addiction, and punk rock. Uh, character Zeke has just gotten out of prison and is now living in the last place he ever wanted to be, his dead parents' house. Uh, for years, he's tried to drown out every ounce of the memories of this place and his messed up childhood. Zeke is now forced to confront it and the revelation that his past is filled with the occult and dark magic. So, sounds super cool. Uh, unfortunately, this is one that um, I'm not going to be able to get on this time. Hopefully, if there's another issue, I'll be I'll be able to uh, to back it then. I like I said, I kind of hit my limit for my Kickstarter stuff before I found out about this one. So, uh, Travis, I'll make sure I, I try to get on to, on the next one. Uh, <clears throat> but this is published by or Orange Cone Productions. It was created and written by Travis Gibb. Art by Patrick Burmeyer. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, lettered by Jerome Guignon. And the edits were done by Heather Gibb. Uh, this one ends February 17th. Seems like a really cool premise. Like I said, hopefully next time I'll be able to, to jump on this one. Uh, but one more time just go through them again, flip back through my notes. You got Pocus Hocus Chapter 3 that ends February 24th. Bearskin that ends February 9th. And again, if you back both of those, you get the Ashcan of Ragnarok. 
Uh, we got 2100 AD, 1 through 4, that ends February 17th from Intelligent Comics. And you got Granite State Punk, Orange Cone Productions, that ends on February 17th. I have two honorable mentions I just want to talk about real, real fast. Uh, they'll get their own Kickstarter corner, trust me, but they're actually coming out. In, uh, the campaign starts in February. These other ones I've talked about, they end in February. But the uh, first one I want to talk about is Immortal Era. And Immortal Era is another one that I've been following for almost since the beginning. Uh, I missed out on the first one because we got an email about it and it got lost in our emails. I've told that story a million times. Uh, but once I actually read it, hopped on, have loved it. Edward is amazing. Immortal Era is amazing. Make sure that you keep your eye out for that one because that's, that's a good one. It's award winning. Uh, the other one I want to talk about is one that everybody knows this channel loves and that's Good Boy Volume 2. Those are both coming out in February. I want to say that uh, Edward said late February for Mortal Era, and I'm not exactly sure what time the the Good Boy one is going to drop. But again, they'll both be in their own episode. When they do drop, we'll have all the information then. If you liked what you saw in this video, make sure you stick around to the end. Check out one of our other videos. We'll have one pinned in the comments. We'll have one in the description, all that good stuff. I hope you have an awesome week, and I will catch you next time. Later, Tots. Real quick, because I've forgotten my other video, which I'm going to cut and paste somewhere, probably before I do the outro. Stickers, Kickstarter folks. Jenna loves stickers. Please make sure that you put stickers anywhere and everywhere in your Kickstarters. Okay, that's it. I'm in the video now. All right.